riffraff are squirrels that come looking through other squirrels food supplies so you've stored stuff on your property and everything's cool but then somebody comes through and says hey what do you got here what do you got here and and they start looking around and yeah that was a squirrel all right <laughs> That was a squirrel that did that. All right, so they so people start looking around in your property and say, "What do you got here?" And now you're not going to be happy about that, right? You're, you're going to be like, "Hey, what are you doing nosing around my property, looking at my stuff?" Somebody like trying to crawl into the back of my pants. Okay, there you go. So when you when you have people like sniffing around your stuff, you're like, "No, you don't be doing that." Well, that's when the squirrel chases happen. That is when the squirrel chases happen is when riffraff, as I call them, is trespassing on property it shouldn't be and sniffing around because it's looking for nuts because it knows somebody lives here and they are they've stashed nuts because that's what squirrels do so they know they know when they're on wrong territory you watch or at least i can tell when when a squirrel is on property that it shouldn't be it has a different walk to it okay when a squirrel is on its own property it, wa it walks around it knows it's in by property i mean you know the radius around its tree it's it's turf okay the squirrel that belongs there has a certain way of walking that you can tell they know they're where they should be but when another squirrel that shouldn't be there they're very like kind of timid they walk around um <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> when when a squirrel um shouldn't be there he's walking you can tell you can tell by the way he walks and he's he knows that he's in the wrong and he could get chased at any minute so part of the way he's walking around is he's like looking to make sure nobody sees him because he knows as soon as he does he's going to get chased out of there so they're a lot like humans like that um they don't have banks that i know of so they can't like take all their nuts somewhere and say hey could you could I stash these here because I can't no they have to do the under the mattress kind of technique but <laughs> and uh <laughs>
they'll come up behind and me too. They'll come up behind each other and they'll come up behind me and do it. And they try to take each other or me by surprise and make them jump. They're very funny. Most people, they'll like get an animal, like a cat or a dog or whatever, and they'll bring it in the house and they'll get to know it there. But I live outside, it's just how I am. So it's just how I am. So I live outside and, uh, and then, so I got to know them on their territory, you know, on their turf. So, and I took care of them when I can. I take care of them when I can. You know, when there's a predator, boom, I'm on it. <laughs> they're, they're, the squirrels know, like any enemy of theirs is an enemy of mine. And um, I do everything I can do. Just basically yell and clap and run. <laughs> But hey, it works. You know, I, I get foxes out of here and uh, and sometimes it's easy ones. Sometimes like the other night, um, I was, <laughs> I think she just sneezed at me. Um, sometimes it's easy. Like the other night I was inside, everyone went, it was time for bed, but not everyone was up in bed. Yeah, that's the other thing. They have bedtimes just like we do and um, nap times and eat times and all that. Um, dinner. <laughs> Boy, breakfast and dinner. Oh, is that sweetie? <laughs> What's I saying? <laughs> Woo! <laughs>